Hello and welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this mouse. Now I've made a number of mice before and uh, this is the one I'm really happy with. And I think it turned out to be as I wanted it to be. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, make an armature using pipe cleaners and I'm going to show you how I do it in real time. I haven't speeded up this video. <coughs> uh, the armature part, I haven't speeded that up. So I've taken a pipe cleaner. I'm measuring out around 4 cm. That's how big I want the head to be. So it depends on you how you want the head to be. And I'm just using a single wire for the head. I haven't made a loop because I think when you felt it in the needle pokes into the wire so I just fold it at the sharp end and I've bended it so this is going to be the muzzle and then <clears throat> go down around six to seven centimeters this is how big i want roughly the mouse to be and i'm twisting the uh, pipe cleaner back up i'm twisting it around so it's not that flimsy anymore it gets a bit firm you use two pipe cleaners or just twist them it becomes firmer so when I get to the neck part I'm going to make an arm the arms are going to be quite short so around three centimeters I'm going to bend it and twist it back so I haven't got any sharp edges poking through and you have to firmly twist it around itself and now around the same length I'm going to make the other arm and twist it around now the end you can just bend it or twist it around the body it's going to be covered in, in wool so it doesn't matter I'm just pressing it down so this is one pipe cleaner now taking another pipe cleaner I'm going to make the feet and I'm just bending the end of the body back so this is going to be attached to the tail so the legs or the feet because it and only the feet are going to show from beneath the body they have to be around the same length as the arms so I'm just measuring that I'm going to twist them back keep twisting them so it's firm now I'm going to attach it to the lower part of the body Taking that pipe cleaner around, nice and firm, pressing it hard. Now I'm going to make the other foot the same way. I'm going to press it down and twist it around. Now 
once I am closer to the body, I'm going to twist it. Make sure it's nice and firm. I'm going around the other side. So it's firmly attached and going around the part where I, which I had bended back and this is going to be the tail. It looks too long so I'm going to cut it at the end when I'm done with the mouse. Because I'm going to wrap it, wrap a bowl around it so when it's done then I'll know how long of a tail I need. So as you can see it's done. And now I'm going to show you how I make really tiny sounds. Now as I've mentioned earlier I'm self-taught needle felter and this is the first time I'm going to make wild little hands. I'm using florist wire that is 28 gauge. It's really thin and easy to twist. So I'm just using that to give it a go and see how it goes and I think it turned out to be pretty good and easy to handle. This is one hand turn and I'm going to show you how I made it when I make the other one. It's really tiny fingers and just twisting them. So I've got four little fingers. Now the ed other end of the wire, because it's quite long, I'm going to make the other hand. I'm just bending it. So as big as I want the finger to be. So it depends on how long you want it to be. And then just twist it firmly. So I've got one little finger. around the same size as I did earlier and I'm going to make another one and just along with it using the same wire twisting around the other finger I just bent it and then I'm just going to twist it around so it's nice and firm so it is around the same size and I, I find the uh, florist wire is really easy to handle because it's covered with uh, paper and uh, it holds the wire uh, the wool really well Same way I've twisted four fingers. So in the same way you can make hands of any small animal that you want to make, like the squirrel or the mice, your little guinea pigs. I think they'll be made the same way. I haven't cut the wire apart, so both of my hands of the mouse are on the same wire on different ends. And when I'm done, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to twist the wire down the middle so I've got a little tiny hand. 
I'm going to attach it to my pipe cleaner. Now I came back after a while and just started wrapping it up with wool. I forgot all about the hands and that I was going to show you the hands first. But this is how you turn and twist the edge of the wool. I'm using Corydale slivers and slivers are really easy to wrap around any wire, especially pipe cleaners, they hold it really well. I'm twisting the wool around. So I come close to the chest area. Then I go across. And around. And came across so I've got some body to the chest area of the mouse and then I'm going to wrap the rest of the wool on the middle part with the needle so it's nice and secure now we come to the hands so I remembered I had to do them first so I'm going to wrap some wool around them I'm using a really light baby pink color and it's a merino top and after I think twisting it around three times I got the hang of it and had to take it off and do it again and then I figured out that I just have to hold it and keep twisting it around the tiny fingers gonna be a bit tricky at first but once you've done it the other hand is gonna be much easier this is my experience because I had to do it three times but when you're learning something you need patience the first time I'm doing really tiny hands with wire because I've done them before without wire and they turned out to be pretty nice I might do them again on my little mice so I'm just folding it down after twisting them around the, all the fingers So this I'm going to show you a bit slower so you know exactly what I did. Twisting the wool around because it's it's gonna be tricky. It's too tiny. 
can be taken a really small shred of wool and twisting it around to be careful when you poke it with your needle because it's a wire and this wire is really soft but still you have to be careful I'm going around the hand and around the fingers In my third attempt, I realized this is the right way of doing it: just holding the hand in your in your hands and twisting it around with the wool. This was the best way of <laughs> wrapping the wool. So, as I've said earlier, the, you learn with each project. So, I'm in the process of learning myself and sharing my experience. So, this was the best way of doing it. And it turned out to be really neat as well. So this is this was my third attempt of wrapping wool around the tiny little hands. And I'm happy with it now. I'm going to fold it down. Holding the wool and twisting it around the finger didn't work, so I had to twist them both together and that worked you can make them as chubby as you want them to be you can use bigger hands if you want using a thicker wire wrapping the extra bit of wool and I'm going to attach it to the mouse armature twisted the arm back down now we've got a loop here so I'm going to insert the wire in it adjust it in place and then I'm going to twist the extra wire around tightly around the arm placing the hand where I need it to be and then I'm going to twist 
the rest of it around the arm. So now the army chair has got hands. I think this was the most trickiest part of the whole mouse formation. And it's done. to wrap whole wool around it and I'm going to do it on time lapse just to save time you go around the arms and you can make it as fat as you want to so add more wool to the belly part you have to keep going until you're happy with the shape and size around the feet Now I'm going to um, wrap some wool around the neck and the head. So I'm going in circles. I'm going to shape it with my needle. The nose. So once I've got the nose in place, I'm going to see how big the head I want to get. I'm going to add wool gradually to it. And as you can see the nose part is poking out and I'm attaching more wool around the head. So I've got it in shape. So I'm folding down little cheeks and I'm going to attach them to the head, the sides. So I know exactly where the eyes are going to be. And you get a more prominent shape of the mouse, the face of the mouse. With both sides done, I'm attaching the eyes using a bit of glue. And I'm going to give it a pink nose. I'm shaping the nose and the mouth with my needle. It's like, it is like sculpting, but with the needle. So I'm attaching some more wool just to get the shape right. 
of the little muzzle. And you have to press the shape of the head and see it from all the angles that it looks equal and symmetrical. You can shape it using your hands. Now you're giving it little eyelids. And a little piece of wool. And more pink on the feet. I'm going to use some felt sheet for their ears, so I'm just going to draw ear that is big enough for the head. I'm going to cut it out and make two of them. I'm just going to try and press out the end of it so it's easier to attach. I'm going to fold it a bit. And just felt it down. I'm going to give in uh, ears, but I think the felt sheet works as well. So now I'm going to give it color. You can use whatever color you want. I'm making a white mouse. So I'm using a uh, white marina top I'm going to cover the whole mouse with some white wool covered and I'm going to give a little more wool to form the thighs. So I just fold it over the marina top. I'm going to fold it down in the shape of thighs. Now I've got some eggshell colored marina top and I'm using that for the tail. Just twisting it out in the tail and I have cut it short it was too long and then I folded the edge of it down so the sharp bit is not poking out with this the mouse is complete and for the knitting needles I've used some toothpicks cut off the edges and put some beads on them and then I've crocheted a little part of the wool and uh, I've put it onto the needle so it looks like he's, kn he's knitting and I've rolled the rest of the wool into a ball into a little tiny felted ball I've just wrapped around with wool and put some glue on it and then I've put it in a globe as it was a gift for someone hope you liked it thank you for watching